Rent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So yesterday I posted that Microsoft had announced their pricing for Windows 10's Extended Security Updates program, which will be running for three years after the 14th of October next year, 2025, which according to Microsoft will be the official end of support date for Windows 10. And as I mentioned in that video, um, the price will be 61 US dollars per year for corporations and enterprises and Microsoft did not reveal any information on the ESU pricing for home users. Now that video will be in the end screen so go check that out um, if you want some more information. But uh, just to let you know and just to clear up a little bit of confusion I've been seeing on the channel and also online um, because I've been asked the question and the question's been asked what about home users, what's it going to cost for home users? So um, because of this um, bit of confusion during the rounds regarding this announcement for enterprise customers of $61 per year, Microsoft now on their consumer end of support page has um, updated uh, the Windows 10 extended security updates with this little editor's note dated the 3rd of April, which was yesterday in my region. They say the details and pricing structure outlined in this post apply to commercial organizations only. Okay, so this is not for home users, $61 per year, and the information I spoke about in yesterday's video, which will be in the end screen, only applies to commercial organizations only. They carry on to say, details will be shared at a later date for consumers on our consumer end of support page, which is this page, end of support for Windows 10, 8.1, and Windows 7. Okay, and they also mention here that educational organizations can find tailored information about Windows 10 end of support in the Microsoft Education blog, if you would be interested. Now, according to the end of support page, which by the way, um, I'll leave down below if you would like some more info. The extended security update paid program for home users and regular customers will begin rolling out only when the OS is closer to its October 2025 date next year, with Microsoft saying on this page, that final pricing and enrollment conditions will be made available closer to the October 2025 date for end of support. So obviously, um, why I think they are doing that and only announcing the final pricing for home users for the ESU program is because obviously you can see they are wanting a lot of users to upgrade to Windows 11 from Windows 10. So obviously Microsoft um, in a marketing kind of strategy are waiting to see how many current Windows 10 users will upgrade to Windows 11 um, before the official end of support on the 14th of October 2025. And then I think that's why they'll only announce final pricing on this page um, and enrollment conditions closer to the October 2025 date. But that's going to be interesting because there are a lot of Windows 10 devices that cannot be upgraded to Windows 11 due to the system requirements but nonetheless that's the latest and as mentioned what I spoke about yesterday only applies to organizations home users will get that pricing closer to the end of support date next year in October and obviously when that becomes available I will let you guys know so thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one